What's up everyone? We're just going to go out and take a walk around this neighborhood. This is where I usually walk when I film and I am recording with the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now it's kind of a windy day so you know we'll see how it does with cutting out wind noise. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad, I don't know. And I'm also recording exactly as the phone comes out of the box, just in full HD. Okay, I made no other edits, nothing like that. Just as it came out of the box is how I'm recording right now. We're going to see how the image stabilization is, and how the sound is, and everything else. So, I just want to say, you know, I've had the phone for a little while now, this S9 Plus. And I really, really, really like this phone a lot. Um, let's start with like AR emojis. I think that they're really, really good. Okay, not perfect because one of the problems that I find when you send an AR emoji to someone, whether they're on another Samsung device, even if it's an S9, an iPhone, whatever, is that the emojis when they play the AR emojis when they play back, they could be a little bit blurry, a little bit fuzzy. But that's really not a big deal because you know people can get the gist of what you're trying to send if it's yourself or whatever. Plus, what I really like is that there doesn't seem to be much of a time limit when you're recording the voices or what you want to say, and that's really cool because you can send something to somebody, say a lot of stuff, you know, unlike the Apple ones where I think there's like, what, a 10-second cutoff? No, these are a lot, lot better, and I'm really having a lot, a lot of fun with them. I'm sending them too much, but, you know, I'm enjoying it. Um, what else? The screen, I think, on this phone is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the curved screen, never have been, but I can deal with that. Um, on the Note, though, I hate the curved screen. I think it's garbage, all right? Battery life on my S9 Plus, I'm averaging about five, five and a half hours of screen on time. Um, I'm not really impressed with that because I can't make it through a full day without, you know, having to recharge. But, you know, I'm a heavy user, so you're used to it anyways. So, it's kind of a big deal, but not really. The new dual speakers with the Dolby Atmos. You know, whether or not the Atmos is on doesn't really make that much of a difference. You know, they still sound really good. However, if you're coming from something that already had dual speakers, like an iPhone or something, you're not going to be that impressed. So, they just sound really good, but nothing spectacular. What else? Um, obviously, I love having the fingerprint scanner. That's a good thing, okay, because on the iPhone 10 that I had, didn't have that. And I didn't have the iPhone 10 for that long. Wasn't very impressed with it. Went back to the um, iPhone 6 Plus, uh, 6S Plus that I had, and now back to the 8 that I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of. And what else? Um, there is just, like, it, it's really hard to, like, really just say, but there's, like, so much refinement, too, in this S9 Plus. I mean... You know, you don't have to adjust any of your animations or anything. Right out of the box, it's fast, it's smooth, it's a lot of fun. Um, the camera, I am loving. Now, I know a lot of people have been complaining about, you know, the selfie camera, that it smooths out too much. Well, I don't find that to be the case, really, okay? I find that if you could, you could dial back the, the, the beauty face features or smoothness, whatever you want to call it, and it actually works really 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 well doing a good job taking selfies so I don't have a problem um, the low light capabilities of this camera are just freaking they're astonishing like amazing I am amazed by how good this camera is I mean just super job by Samsung okay what else do I really like about this um, video quality now it does have that feature where you, you, you could enhance the video quality um, it makes a little bit of a difference a little bit more punchy Nothing really spectacular, but it still looks really good. So, I'm probably repeating myself or going out of some kind of order, not making much sense. But this is like, you know, just a rambling video of me recording as I'm walking with the S9 Plus, like I said before, straight out the box, you know, nothing changed. See how it does with stabilization, wind noise, you know, just like you would use in the real world. And... I am just so impressed with this S9 Plus that I just, I cannot stop talking about it, okay? 
And this is from a guy who, uh, my main phone, my daily driver is an iPhone, okay? I am an iPhone guy. But, you know, even if you're an iPhone fan or a person, you have to just be honest and give it up to Samsung with this S9 Plus that it is a fantastic freaking device, okay? They really did a good job. Now, am I going to keep it? No. And the only reason I'm going to get rid of the S9 Plus is I don't want to have to pay a huge fee when I try to upgrade next to get the Note 9. Because I have a feeling that is just going to be just a super, super, super device. Somehow even better than this S9 Plus. And let me tell you, this S9 Plus is just, it's amazing. And you know, I hear like, you know, some people complaining about it. These little things that they just, you know, don't like. And they make this, they just blow it out of proportion. And I think that's just really so stupid. I think they're just being unfair. And I think they're just, you know, nitpicking to the point where they're just saying stuff to be, you know, that guy and contrary, you know, just to slam the phone. And that's just, in my opinion, kind of lame. It's kind of dumb. It's kind of fanboyish. That, because this, this S9 Plus just has so much going for it. The speed, the camera, those AR emojis, um, the stickers, which are also a lot of fun. And, you know, that may not be your thing, AR emojis or stickers. You might think, okay, this is stupid. I'm not going to use this stuff. Then, you know what? Don't use that. But there's so much more that this phone has to offer. The fantastic camera, the selfies, the low light, which is freaking amazing, the beautiful display, Bixby. Gosh, I cannot believe I'm so stupid I forgot to talk about Bixby. Bixby has gotten not a lot better, but it's gotten pretty better. Pretty better. I don't know if that even makes any sense. An example is when I had my Note 8, doing like a location-based reminder with Bixby was like, it was impossible. It just wouldn't do it. It was too stupid to figure it out. Now, probably 60% of the time, it will get the location-based reminder and it will do it correctly. And that I think is very impressive, you know, considering that, you know, Bixby's pretty new and it's showing that not only is it good for controlling, you know, the phone, you know, working as like an assistant with the phone, but it's becoming smarter with location-based reminders. Uh, a little bit smarter with the ability to understand, you know, when you ask questions. So, you know, hats off to Samsung, and I hope they keep going with Bixby, because Bixby, you know, if you've seen my other videos, in my opinion, has a lot of promise. You know, it's really cool for, like, you know, controlling your phone, for setting up, you know, dual apps, for specific tasks. And now with the ability to, you know, be able to do a better job with location-based reminders, now, to be honest, it's still not as good as Google or Siri in that regards, but it's, you know, not a heck of a lot far, farther behind it either. So as long as Samsung keeps putting the effort in, you know, Bixby has a lot of potential to be a major player, okay? It's really a lot better than it was on my Note. Um, so yeah, I, I, ha I just have to say, I am loving this phone, you know? Again, I'll reiterate, and I'll keep saying the same thing over and over again, so, you know, if you want to shut up the video, go ahead. But it's the AR emojis, the stickers, the screen, these new dual speakers. Just the speed and the smoothness of the phone is just so impressive. It's just fantastic. I'm, I'm just so happy. Um, you know, the, the biometric that you have the choice from, you know, whether it's Intelligent ID, um, fingerprint scanner, iris scanner, but, you know, the intelligent scan, whatever they call it, you know, again, let's be honest, it's not all it's cracked up to be, all it's cracked up to be because you can't use your Samsung Pay with it, but then again, you know, you have the options of that in your fingerprint, and when it comes to, like, you know, ways to get into your phone, in my opinion, more options are better because that's one of the things I hated about the iPhone 10 was you only had that face ID, and I thought that was really lame and pretty stupid. So, that was that. You know, I just couldn't last with that phone. Wasn't impressed by it. The Samsung phone, though, ah. Oh. If you're on the fence about getting the S9 Plus or the S9, the only reason I would think that you would be was if you want to hold out for the Note 9. Because, like I said, that's the reason I'm returning this, because I really want that Note 9. And I don't want to have to go through paying, you know, the fat fee to upgrade from this to the Note. So, I will be getting rid of this. But if you're like thinking, okay, should I get the S9? Should I get the S9 Plus? Let me just tell you, absolutely, 100% yes. And this is coming from somebody who's an iPhone person. 
This S9 Plus is amazing. I love it. It's a lot of fun. It's just a fantastic device. No, it's not perfect. Like I said, the battery life could be a heck of a lot better. The Sometimes when you sound like things like the emojis, they come out a little bit blurry. Okay? Um, in my case, let's say I'm an Apple Music user. You still can't get any kind of good voice control with it, whether you use Google or Bixby. So, yes, there's there are little quirky things that are annoying about the phone. But overall, I guess I have to say, this is a fantastic device. I am just so impressed by it that I am just now really, really hyped and really looking forward to the Note 9 to see what possibly can Samsung you know, improve on this because I am just blown away. And yeah, I know I've said that like about a trillion times now, but whatever. I'm just trying to, you know, convey my emotions and how much I'm really enjoying this S9 Plus. So, if you're on the fence about whether I should get it or not, get it. You will enjoy this phone very, very much. It is just absolutely fantastic. Okay? I know this is a long video, rambling. I'm not sure how it's going to play out. But I will be uploading it straight up to YouTube. You know, as usual, no edits, you know. So how as good as it is or how as bad as it is, well, we'll see how good the phone did. All right? Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you later.